Alright, what's up YouTube? So, I'm on Windows 7. Sounds like a lot of Windows 7 users are having problems. So here's what you do. You go to spiritjailbreak.com or spirit s p i r i t j b dot com. You'll come to this page again. That's s p i r i t j b dot com. You'll come to this page. Uh, Spirit's an untethered jailbreak for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch on the latest firmware. Spirit is not a carrier unlock. Repeat, I repeat that. If you rely on T-Mobile, this isn't for you. If you want to unlock your phone and use it for someone besides AT&T, this doesn't have it at the moment. If you are currently using a tethered jailbreak, you have to restore to use Spirit. Do not upgrade. If you use an unlock, if you use an unlock on an iPhone 3G or 3GS, you can, however, restore to 3.1.2. If you have SHSH blobs for that version, requirements. Any iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch on firmware 3.1.2, 3.1.3, or 3.2. An activated device not stuck on the Connect to iTunes or emergency call screen. Any version of iTunes 9, including 9.1.1. .1. So any version of iTunes works right now. Syncing with iTunes before trying is highly recommended. It's probably to make sure you don't lose all your contacts and data and stuff that you have on there. Okay, so you would click Windows or Mac and download one of these two. If you're on Safari, you want to go up here to Tools and then Downloads. And this is where your file will be. I have two of them right there because the first time I tried it, on Windows 7 I had an error okay so you go to downloads uh, if you're on Internet Explorer you'll want to save it to your desktop um, and then it'll show up right here like this when it says save click the drop down arrow here I'll even see if I can show you Uh, so you go to spiritjb.com. Here it is. Whoops. Okay, then you go down here to Windows. Click that. It's connecting. Now you click Save. And then down here, it says the file name. Save it as an application. If you're on Windows 7, click right here on Desktop. That'll save it to your desktop. And go down here and click save. And that's saving it right there. So the other way I showed you was for Firefox. This one's for Internet Explorer. The file's done. Now if you're on Windows 7, don't run it. I don't know about anything else, but Windows 7, you'll get an error if you run it right now. Okay, so... Now go here to your file, right click on it, and you'll get this thing. Go all the way down to the bottom where it says properties. Click on that. Then go to compatibility up here on the toolbar. Click on that. And then it says run this program in compatibility 4. Click this drop down arrow and make sure it's set on Windows 98 Windows ME okay then down here in the corner you'll click apply and then click OK 
and then go ahead and run the program double click it to run it click yes now click jailbreak and you see my iPad it just said restore complete it's rebooting or like flashing it there it is see it loading and there it is iPad has successfully been jailbroken beautiful let's go ahead and open Cydia it's gonna reorganize while that's doing that on your computer your iTunes might pop up and it'll say this that's okay just uh, unplug the device plug it back in unplug this USB plug it back in and it'll recognize the device that just something that happens while it's jailbreaking so city is still reorganizing and it'll automatically close when it's done that's the first time I've had it unlock it again go back to Cydia and then you pick which type you are I'm just gonna do user cuz that's what pretty much most of you guys should be doing if you put um, hacker or developer you're gonna get a bunch of lib files and all these files if you don't know what they are it's just gonna make it more confusing for you and it's not really anything that you're gonna be able to do anything with unless you really know what you're doing okay so city is loading up now I don't know about if winterboard will install on this but I'm gonna make another video trying to do that so make sure you subscribe to me because I'm going to be popping off with tons of videos on this. Um, I got something in my changes. There's this little thing up here. It's uh, UI kit tools, graphic service, command line access. I'm going to go ahead and click upgrade and then confirm and there it goes I cannot believe my iPad is jailbroken I can't wait <laughs> uh, this is awesome though now if I if you plug into iTunes in the next little bit and they will ask you to update I'd be very cautious I wouldn't update anything that they got okay so that's how you get it to run on Windows 7. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is going to be an uh, exciting time for a lot of people. I know a lot of you guys have iPhones on the 3.1.3 and you've been waiting for this forever. So it's finally here. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope the tutorial was clear enough for you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a comment at the bottom or leave a message on my channel either way I, I try to respond to all my messages except for obviously the ones that are just a bunch of people talking crap so so I showed you how to do it on Explorer Firefox um, another thing I already showed you that I think but if um, you go here to Firefox and you go up to Tools, that's where your downloads will be. Click Downloads under Tools, and that'll bring up the folder. And then if you forgot to, like, you didn't save it to your desktop, just right-click on this, and then click Open Containing Folder. And that's where it's at. And then do what I said about right-clicking on it and changing the properties to Windows 98. Alright, thanks for watching.